YouTube. What are you guys doing over here? I was looking for you. Anyway guys, we're here in the beautiful city of Victoria, Canada. I'm gonna be here for the next few days. I'm here at a place called Hotel Z. It's a pretty funky looking hotel, as you can see. <laughs> Free coffee, earplugs, stickers. I like this place already. And I have a shuttle van taking me downtown. It's leaving right now. Let's go. I have walked down the street once before. Most of you probably don't know this, but Oh, I guess it was four years ago now I visited Victoria. Back when I lived in Western Canada, I li used to live in Vancouver. I took a trip to Victoria and I made a video about it. You can always tell the government buildings because they usually have these old green tops. But that was when my YouTube channel was very new. So I would actually recommend you not to watch that video. This one's gonna be a lot better. <laughs> and it's gonna be better for two reasons. Number one, because four years ago, I wasn't that good at making videos. And reason number two, because this time, I was actually invited here by the people at Tours in Victoria, and they've given me some tips. Oh, cool car. They've given me some tips on restaurants to go to and things to do. Uh, today, I'm actually booked on a craft beer tour, a biking beer tour. So you guys will find out if I'm able to bike, film, and drink at the same time. It's gonna be challenging, but I'll do my best. But I also got a few of my own ideas for things to do. So I got about three days here, and I'm gonna show you guys everything I can about the beautiful city of Victoria. Haha, <laughs> first sighting of the double-decker buses. I forgot they had those here. Walking down, I believe this is Government Street. A oh, cool pub behind me. Nice Irish pub. Might have to pay a visit there tonight. <laughs> but yeah, this is one of the main streets in downtown Victoria. A lot of classic architecture. Wow, look at that one in front of me. Bard and Banker. That one looks like it's straight out of Straight out of 19th century London or something. Wow. But you know what guys, I'm actually gonna take us away from Government Street to show you something else. One of my favorite views in all of Victoria, Victoria Harbor. I guess they actually have a little airport right on the water. Yeah, there it is, Harbor Air. I believe that flies between Victoria and Vancouver. Maybe some other spots too. So the city of Victoria is actually named after Queen Victoria, former Queen of England. And there's nothing more English than fish and chips. So for lunch, I decided to stop by this place called Bluefish Redfish. And I was gonna film the whole thing, but actually the owner, a guy named Libby, was waiting there for me and ended up being the coolest guy ever. We had a nice chat. He recommended I try something called the tacone, which I guess is like a cone taco. I had one salmon, one tuna, amazing. Also got to have a deep fried pickle. But more than just the meal, one thing I wanna point out is that as I was standing there talking with this guy, you know, like three different sets of people walked by 
and his owner Libby knew like all of them. So you can really tell they're not just serving food, they're part of the community down there. And that's pretty cool. Next up on the agenda, remember I was telling you I have a bike tour, a bike and beer tour. Here we are, the peddler, Victoria by bike. Hello. Hi there. How are you? Very good, how are you doing? I'm gonna leave my big camera away and start using this little one. Should be good to give you some shots of what it's like as we're biking. I don't know exactly where we're gonna go, but if it's along the coast and you get to see some of the water and the ocean, it's gonna be pretty special. So let's go find out. So we're about to bike across the uh, across the bridge, and I get to see something I've never seen before. The bridge is rising up to let to let one of the ships through. Take a look at that. I mean, you got two options. If the ships can't get through, you got to build a higher bridge, or you can do that. <laughs> So I just found out something really cool. This was actually the oldest brew pub in all of Canada. The oldest place that brews its own beer and is a pub. When they built it, it was way outside Victoria, you know, out by some shipping yards and stuff like that because they didn't want a big brewing pub right in the middle of the city. But since then, Victoria has grown a lot. So now there's condos and there's, there's neighborhoods out here. Pretty interesting stuff. This is British Columbia for you right here. Last stop for today is a little spot called Phillips. Actually, it's not that little. This is actually by far the biggest brewery that we're seeing today. Uh, they make a drink called Blue Buck, which is a very popular beer. So they started as a very small microbrewery here in, uh, in Victoria, but they have scaled up and up and up, and now you can find Blue Buck all over North America and uh, probably other places too. Oh, there's another seaplane about to land. Check this out. There it goes. Oh, come on. That gas station looking thing completely blocked my view. Anyway, guys, I just finished my bike tour. And I gotta say, Charles, that guy, he was the owner. He, really awesome guy I had a good time chatting with him and obviously got to see a lot of the city as well there's also a lot of nature here in Victoria I hope that's one thing I've started to show you I'm gonna show you even more of that tomorrow when we go to a provincial park but for today as I walk through downtown Victoria with the harbor to my left and the BC Parliament building to my right I think I'm going to leave you here. There's a lot more I could say, a lot more I could do. 
But you know what? This is a city you just gotta visit for yourself. This is one of Canada's top tourist destinations. And there's a reason so many people come here. This place is pretty spectacular. As always guys, I'm Dan for the new travel. I'll see you next time. Thank you.